Hi, welcome back to Loadout Gameplay. So, we're going to get right into the action now, and this is a game I liked the most, and I did miss the first couple of minutes, about two, so sorry about that, but I like this game the most. I'm using a sniper and a shock weapon. See, I'm getting shocked to death there by that guy. But, um, yeah, this was a really good game. So this is a capture the flag type um, game type, but with a, with a twist. Because normally in capture the flag game types, you capture the flag and you're hindered. It normally slows you, you can't jump, things like that. This game mode, you capture a hammer. You see, he's just got the hammer there. And you got this hammer attack, which if it hits you, you're dead. The the range on it, you see I'm trying to run away from it. There he is, he's going to try and hit me with the hammer. He's just going to run off though. But you'll see me a couple of times get owned by that hammer. Um... And it's just lethal. It is. It's very. It's very strong at the moment. I think people were saying in chat that it needs to be toned down the AOE damage. Um. So yeah, um, I I didn't like the guns I made, so I went and made a sniper, and it is bloody lethal if you get a headshot with it. It's one shot, one one kill. Um, something you might notice with this game is the movement. The movement is very slick. It's it's really nice, honestly. It feels it feels so comfortable when you start playing, and you, you just feel like you've been playing this game for for ages, like how a game should. The movement's just perfect. I'm gonna try and shoot this guy with the flag now, but um, yeah, you, you could jump, and then if you roll and jump, you jump higher. So it's all about movement, which is what I like, because that adds a lot of skill to the game, not just you know being static and running around corners, you can't do anything. So I managed to kill that guy with the flag, and I, I returned it, the hammer, I should say, with a grenade. Um, see, my character looks quite generic at the moment. I need to actually get some more points to, to kit him out. But I'm in the early stages of the game at the moment. But yeah, I'm just loving it. This game is, is just brilliant. I think it's one to watch. It's... It's definitely got a great feeling to it. Headshot right there. It's so it's such an amazing feeling when you get a headshot. Like that. And this this sniper was just the perfect <laughs> gun for me to make. Because I tried some other guns and they just weren't working. Like um, I just showed you that great balls fire in the last video and it just didn't do the damage because most of the the balls would miss. So I went for this gun and it's a lot better. And I've just got my body chopped in half trying to pick up the hammer I wanted to show you what it was like with the hammer but I couldn't actually do that um, oh the gun customer machine is insane though. you can just keep going back to it just making a better gun And um, I showed you a bit of that in the last video if you want to go and see that I'll put a link at the top or at the end I'm going to get owned by the hammer you see how strong that is it's lethal but um, yeah the gun customer machine is just insane but the feel of the game is just its just perfect. I think there are some overpowered guns in the game. People were saying in chat, like somebody was using a certain type of gun and they were just saying how easy it is to use. And I think it was homing in on me when it was shooting. It was really strong. It was like a laser gun. Um, also, this, this other person had like a shotgun. You can know it's shotgun. That did a ton of damage. I just got shot in the head there. But this game just... It just... It's got an awesome feel into it. Like the... The setting they've gone with is just really good. It feels a bit like sort of Team Fortress Two ish, but in its own way, it's it's nice. Like the environments just have a lot of character. The the characters themselves have a lot of characters. I'm trying to headshot the go the flag there. I think I do get him. Let's see, headshot. Oh no, I missed. Do I chase after him? Oh yeah, I got him. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> So I shot him in midair there, um, but yeah, it's got it's got an awesome, you know, character to it. Very funny, like you, you blood everywhere, even like a thumbs up sign when like you get revenge on someone. It is very funny. There's a lot of alpha maps alpha maps in the closed beta at the moment, so they're all like blue and they got new textures on there. A bit weird. There's a guy hiding there. This is my shock weapon. Um, I quite like it. It does a lot of damage, but um, I don't know. He gets us keep shooting with it. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's it's decent enough yet. I'm still testing it, but it's it's not done. It, you know, it's not too bad at the moment. I've ever had worse guns. Oh, sounds off. 
that guy's rolling around and he's dropping like these bombs are like booby traps he, you can get like different equipment in the game but he, he does get me rest in peace bitches that's what he's called his weapon you can actually see what other people's called their weapon which is a really cool feature a lot of people you can guess what most is called it's like like yo dog it I killed you, or look, my epic gun owned you, or, or things like that. But it's kind of generic things. You don't get like the executioner or or things like that. The enemy has captured the hammer. Trying to chuck a grenade, grenade while this guy's shooting a pulse gun. I get headshot by pro poop. Um, he 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 was the bane of my existence in this game, literally. Sniper war between me and him. I completely missed that. Do I get him? Oh, I hit him in the body and he's shocking me like crazy. And I remember chasing him around quite a few times. Couldn't really find him. Uh, see, it's like shot, but it's there, which are insane. The enemy has stunned me and I'm hammer. <laughs> can say some then. So these are health packs on the floor. There are ammo packs as well. Um, there is a healer role in the game. There's also like a buffer role, but kind of no real point of of it in the moment. Like if there was a a um, cart game mode or a capture point, but I've not really tested all the game modes yet, so that might be there. Um, I do really like this one though because the hammer just adds something to it. But it just ends up like one team seems to be steamrolling at the moment. And that's that's tend to how like capture the flag goes. Yeah, I just got owned by him then. It's just when you got the hammer, you are a beast with it. You you are very strong. But yeah, this this game's just just awesome. Like I really cannot wait until it comes out. Oh, headshot there! That didn't look like a headshot, but it was. I'm using like a um. Oh god, I got another kill. I'm not using like the longer scope. Oh, that's the end of the game. So. That was a look at loadout gameplay. Like you can see, that is just awesome. It's so much fun to play. Uh, do you know, after this, I just had a bunch more games and, and just loads of fun. Um, this is at the end, so you, you get XP and then you get a reward, which goes in your inventory, and you can upgrade your guns better. Um, and you also get a bonus prize. So it spins a wheel or chainsaw, and I got bonus six hundred H XP, which is which is nice. And then that's your challenges, which you can unlock upgrade points. So yeah, that that was loadout gameplay. Thank you for watching. I've been Neon from E Gaming, and I will see you next time.